All right, so now we're gonna move to the last use case. We can use parameters in pens. In the last tutorial, we created pens and histogram about the scores of the customers. And we have decided that the size of the pen is 10. So let's go and rebuild this view quickly. It's really easy. So let's take the scores and put it in the columns. And then we're gonna take the count of the customers and put it on the rows. So with us, we have an histogram and the size of each of those pens are 10. So again, we have a constant value inside our view. Let's go and make it dynamic. So we're going to go to our pin score, right click on it and then edit. So here you can see the size of pins is 10. This is what we have defined. But now instead of that, we're going to create a parameter. So right click on it. And again, we have here the option of creating a new parameter. So select that. Now we're going to call it choose size of pens and now here again tableau did decide on the data type it should be based on the scores and here we have the default value is 10 i'm fine with that and now we have to go and choose which values can be allowed either all the values or list or range and here i recommend to use the range because if you look to the parameter of range it really looked like small pins and as well it makes sense to define the range for the users so here we have the minimum five the maximum 25 and the step size can be five i'm fine with that i'm gonna leave it as it is so let's Let's go and click OK. And now you can see instead of having the size of pens 10, we have a parameter. Let's go and hit OK. So as you can see, nothing changed in our histogram because previously we have the size of 10 and the default value in the parameter is as well 10. So let's go and test everything we have first to show the parameter. So right click on it and show parameter. So now in the right side, we have 10. And if we are just moving between those two values, you can see that our histogram is as well changing accordingly. And with that, the customers can go and customize the histogram as they want. And here always don't forget to make a dynamic title because it's really cool. So let's go and do that. Double click on it. So as usual, we're gonna remove this from here and we're gonna call it histogram. So this is the static part, histogram score. And now we're gonna add the size of pins. So we're going to have insert size of pens and then we're going to close it. So that's it. With that, we have a dynamic name. And now you can see the selected value from the parameter is now showing in the title. So if the user is changing the size of pens, as you can see, the title is as well changing accordingly. This really makes a lot of fun working with Tableau. Alright, so now let's summarize. I think parameters are the best feature that we have in Tableau. And parameters are like variables that allows the users to replace the constant value in the calculations, filters, reference line, and so on. And another unique thing about the parameters is that they are independent from your data set, from your data source. And the main purposes of parameters is to make your visualizations more interactive, more flexible and dynamic and give different users the possibility to customize the visualizations for different ways and requirements without having to create multiple versions of the same visualizations. I just love parameters. All right, guys. So with that, we have learned everything about the parameters and how to make our views dynamic. And in the next section, we will learn more techniques about interactivity in Tableau and we're going to focus on Tableau actions.